the foundation I'm going to try out today is from uh, Ali's Fats. Uh, I think she's a, a makeup artist herself and it is her own brand. I heard a lot of good things about her brand and I got two uh, lip products. One is more creamy finish. Well, it's exactly called the creamy lips. The creamy one I really, really like. I'm considering getting all the colors from this collection. The glass one, I'm debating. So I need to ask your guys' opinion. Mm. I still got two minds about this. And we got a couple of products from Inglot. This is the uh, Lip Color Duo. Mine is melted. Oh, I'll come back to this. And the other one is their Sculpting Powder, which is for contour. And I'm going to show you guys the e.l.f. Cream Blush. This is really, really good. I only use the ones. A very young, cute colour. Let's test out the foundation first. Um, I do plan to do another video afterwards, so I'm not sure I'm going to wear this for like 8 hours or 10 hours testing, but um, I see. I try my best. You, you will find out at the end of this video. Okay, so that's the bottle look like. And you can see her uh, brand on the bottle. Again, classic glass bottle, straightforward. You can tell it's uh, expecting a matte finish. Let me get the full name of this. It's a Skin Veil Foundation. And then my color is, um, I think it's the lightest, uh, is S101L. I don't think you need to shake it, but I'm so used to just grab a foundation and do this. Let's see the texture. Do I need to twist it? Open? Mm. Is it me? Oh, it's a faulty one. Do I need to open? Why my one doesn't come out? I think this is supposed to be just straightforward. How am I going to continue with the video? Well, I think I need to contact the um, customer care then. Mm. Hey ho! Let's do another foundation. And uh, this foundation is from Chinese makeup artist that I did use once. I really, really like it. But I didn't really test it out that how long it's going to last. I didn't do that, but I only tried the finish on the face, the coverage, everything. Oh, beautiful. Let's do this one instead. Then. This is from Chinese makeup artist called Tang Yi. And his own brand is Timage. Firstly, let's have a look at the packaging. It is very, very pretty, like Tiffany Blue. And it's glass bottle as well and the cute bit about this is when you open the little cap on top it's, it's a concealer Timage's concealer is really really good and then you have the foundation itself the whole packaging is very good weight therefore make you feel very luxury and the foundation is called the flawless foundation my color is um, 201 we start with the um, concealer the concealer it is very very it's solid buttery it's like uh, your butter you just taking out from the fridge when you touch the surface you have your body temperature to melt it a little bit but it's still fairly solid that's that type of feel 
and that's the colour. It is a little bit orange undertone and the beauty of this concealer is seeing when I did these swatches I was like oh this is definitely for under eye area. The car was beeping. Anyway mm, when I did the swatches I thought this colour would definitely only suitable for the under eye area but once it's melt into your skin it's developed its own colour it's actually blend the very well with your own skin tone at least on my face let me show you what I mean um, let me zoom you in a little bit I do have face recently my face have so many troubles I don't know whether it's because of the weather or anything else but anyway let's see I have a couple of big spots here and under eye area a little bit redness over here I would do half face to compare firstly let's do the under eye area you probably already can tell the difference can you see this is more like lighten up rather than other type of like a corrector or concealers for under eye area were more turns into orange tone or orange base this is more like lighten up but still covers your black circle interesting right and then let's see the spot well spot you don't supposed to use this bright color but I try the ones it's not bad at all look it's not bad at all right well this spot you won't be able to cover it entirely as is you know like a little bump is standing out of the surface so you only can cover the color you won't be able to cover it let's face it then a little bit redness and surround the nose area Can you see this concealer works with most of the skin troubles and blends it well with the color because even for redness what you're supposed to use is it's a little bit light green based concealer to work with the redness but look at this nothing wrong with it it's, it it covers perfectly oh by the way if by any chance that you're hearing mm, a gentle snow at the background that's my lovely grandma she's taking a snooze at the moment bless her um let's just bet with her she's nearly 90 so she can sleep whenever she wants she can eat whatever she wants so you know we respect that i'll try my best to edit but if i couldn't that's what you're hearing at the background okay on the nose nose bridge area I would recommend to use a finger with this concealer because once you have a little bit of temperature added on it's very easy to be blended out it become a very 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 creamy okay I think here I need a little bit can you see the difference that side And I only just use this one concealer. Oh, by the way, there is a small mirror over here as well, which is very convenient and cute. Lovely in there. Okay, let's try the foundation. The foundation, again, it is... Oh, let me remove the concealer first. The foundation is very like firm cream texture. It's very, very creamy. It is a natural finish, which is my liking. It's not matte, neither too dewy. Let 
again I would do just half the face for you to see the difference as well don't worry about the color it does go oxidized tiny slightly and once I set with powder as well as uh, finish with the contour it looks very natural This part I haven't done it, and this part with. When you see this side, you see it's very, very natural and the same level of glow as my natural skin. So now is the full face finished. Just to zoom guys in a little bit for covering the pores fairly good I don't know why if it if it is because of I was wearing glasses for so long do you see the little shadow over here I can clearly tell from the camera but I can't really tell from the mirror I only can see this tube a little bit but I can't see this shadow from the mirror I'm weird I know but anyway, the finish of the foundation is really, really cool. Hopefully today we can test it out if it lasts longer. I'll uh, let you guys either know at the end of this video or I will put the details in the description box. So do go there and check it out. Let me just quickly set the face. Let's open the contour powder, have a look. It's from Ingolot. Um, I know this brand quite a long time, but I never really used this brand products. I don't, I don't know why, I heard a lot of good things about it. Um, you, you will be able to buy this in UK as well. Um, this what I bought. I only did swatches. This was hardly kind of commented in a lot of uh, beauty community in China that saying this is very good um, powder for contouring I just uh, it is within neutral tone let me just grab one of my from Timich just to compare mm, as you can tell this from Inglot, this is from uh, Timich. I think in comparison, Timich become looks warmer now. Inglot, it is more grayish, more like ash brown. Okay, sorry, let's come back to the packaging as well. Inglot packaging is very nice, it's very classic and it's very simple, straightforward. And this one, you can tell you, you have its logo on it. Is, is magnet on there as well you can either open this way or when you want to use it you can literally just take off the cap and use it as its own from the palette is actually look warmer tone but I don't know why when you do the swatches it's more ashy color let's see I will still do hot face first for you guys to tell My hair nowadays is all over the places. I think the pigmentation is good. It is not very strong, which is always good, especially for contouring powder, you know. You can build up fairly light handed, then you won't make much mistake. I think I'm quite liking it. I thought it was going to be too ashy, therefore going to be too grey in a way. But it's actually very natural shading colour. I think it's very nice. Hmm.
it is very easy to be blended out and it melts with your skin and the foundation very well. That's coming to a good surprise. You guys know me, I always get very excited with finding a good contouring powder. Contour is my life. Well, if you have my type of face shape, you would love contour as well. Let's contour the nose to see if it's as good. I think it's not bad at all. Looks very natural. When you contour the middle of your face, you've got to be very light-handed, you know, rather to build up instead of making a mistake, which would be huh, fairly more difficult to correcting it. I am liking it, although I've done my eyes, but let me just quickly contour a little bit. If you haven't tried Inglot, try this brand. It's very, very good. It's very, at the price, it's very, very friendly as well. And the quality is really, really good. Cream Blood Chiffon Elf. This one is another good find. To be honest, the first one I opened the port, so I do the swatches, I was like, the color looks shocking and it looks scary. I was just like, this is a typical Barbie pink. But when I actually blend it out, you guys can see the difference. So when you do the swatches, it has more pink in there like very much luminous Barbie pink. But when you blend it out, it shows more warm tone and it becomes become much more natural. The whole texture is very much a traditional cream blush. When you work on the cream products, you wouldn't really want to use after powder. But this works very well with powder. Let me show you. So I use the same damp sponge now I just dip it into the port and then I test it out the color on the back of my hand and then just gently tap onto my face. This color is very young energetic because it has its cute pinkness in there, therefore it look like a healthy skin pink on your on your cheek. Can you guys tell? This is without, this is with. You see when you put it on the face, it's really good. And look at the pigmentation on the hand, it's shocking, right? But when you blend it out with a sponge, especially with finger, you've got to be very light-handed, I have to say, but I would recommend to work with a sponge. It is very easy to, to blend it out and to get the amount you want. And to show you guys closer, you guys already know I set the face. But there is no patchiness. It blends in with your skin very, very good. And then you look at that very cute cheek. And they do have more colors to choose as well. So I think this is definitely, definitely worth to try out. I'm just going to put a little bit on the tip of the nose, just for fun. Little bit on the chin, up here a little bit, only tiny little bit. 
pretty good. Hmm. Before we move on to lips, let's show you a miracle. In the beginning of the video, you guys probably see how many times that I pumped this one out from Ali's Fats the foundation I thought it was a falsy one so I was filming this for the customer care after press the book for another nearly one minute it came out it came out you the better be good if not I'm not going to do another video for you you have my words anyway Let's move on to the lip. Yeah. One is cream lips, the other one is glass the lip. I have two minds on glass the lip. Let's put on this one first. I want to finish with the creamy one. I absolutely love the creamy one. And the design for both of the packaging are very much like a bullet. Like that. Which is nice, silver color, fairly sleek, very easy, very slim, easy to carry out as well. The glass the lip has the little brush, which I'm not particularly liking it. Can you tell? Can you see the obvious reason already? Anyway, the creamed one, I prefer this applicator. It's more like a soft brush sponge on the top. The color for the glass the lip is is L three zero three. Has got a name? No. no. The color. It looks very nice. It looks like a warm tone berry color. You, by the way, you twist the and back and let the product coming out. I always, always had a concern with this type of packaging is you don't know how many times you got to twist it. Oh, by the way, I actually counted how many times I twisted in the beginning to get the product out at first. I twisted 56 times. Yes, this counted as one time, okay? 56 times to get the product to come out. So, mm. you see, you seem to don't see anything, you just like, hello, but you don't want to continue to do it because it's going to spill it out. The color when you do the swatches is really nice. look at the finishing i absolutely love the finishing it's very like mirror reflection very very beautiful the formulation is really really nice the color is nice as well it's like uh, blood red has a slightly little bit of blue in there a beautiful watermelon blood red but when you oh look after I twist a few times, it has more product to come out. This type of applicator always have a very um, huge waste. That's how I feel. So I need to just tap it off the actress on the hand. Let me get a mirror. And then apply it. From distance, this one looks nice, right? It looks like you you very much carry your style inside out. But let me zoom you in. Can you see how patchy this one gets? I just couldn't get even. The finishing, the reflection, top class, absolutely top class. But how are you going to get even? Because uh, you see, here is very light, and you know, here you get your patchiness over here. I think it's because of the formulation, it's very, very creamy and glossy. Therefore, 
when you try to even out the color it moves so I'm going to put another layer just to see I can't I can't get to, to perfect it's just oh I absolutely love the color and love the finish <laughs> I'm not professional makeup artist most of us are not how are you going to get it even and you know once you you put the second layer it looks better than just one layer but when you start talking you, can you see you start kind of squeezing color into one line <laughs> if you got the good lip shape yourself and you can get to the smooth and even out of yourself congratulations well done good for you but I me mm, I can't but on the other hand the creamy lip with this applicator is a hundred level better than the glassed one this one just a twist a couple of times and I really, really love the formulation. The color is my liking as well. It is like a toffee orange color, warm tone base. And let me apply that on the lip first. Then I explain why I like it. Oh, this applicator is way, way much better and easy to manage, easy to control on your lip. Take a closer look. It is a beautiful cream finish. Very, very smooth. And you apply on the lip, it becomes very even. Especially you compare this with the last one, right? Very even, no patchiness, not sinking into the lines make your lips so beautiful and I was wearing this for about minimum four hours easily four hours that day obviously I just drinking water didn't really have a full meal and I had a few snacks in between although it does transfer you see and it's cream finish therefore you definitely need to reapply it especially if you have a full meal but the amazing thing with this formulation is it transfers it doesn't impact the color on your lip and even you drink water you speak when this color start fading out it starts kind of from the entire lip it's not from the middle a lot of us wearing lipstick you probably can tell first when you look at mirror when your lipstick start disappearing it, it comes from the middle of the mouth first it gets your own lip color coming out first but the outline is still having your lipstick color it can look very weird and you know this it doesn't fade out from areas to area it's kind of just like the entire lip color had a slightly lighter than the original when you applied that's what I find is absolutely a miracle you see I did touch on my hand and there is no changes on your lip and it doesn't have a stain on that therefore very easy to be removed you don't even need to you just can use you know a standard makeup removal wiper you can just wipe it off and remove it easily easily and look at this color very lazy elegant beautiful beautiful color and this formulation is I think it is is top definitely top top formulation in a cream lipstick collection a lot of cream lipsticks the biggest challenge even with Tom Ford is when it start coming off or fainted out it's become very patchy and and disappearing from inside of your mouth but this one it will still remain your entire lip color oh, it is just so nice
so nice. The last one is also a lip product, but I'm not going to try today. It's from Inglot as well. I really, really like the design. It's their lip duo. Very, very cute. But I think Changsha is too hot and this one was not designed for this hot weather. Um, it melted. Let me show you. Can you see? The bottom is like a more like lip cream. This is like a lip cream shine. I'm still going to do the swatches for you. It's completely melted. But the color is absolutely my cup of tea because the bottom color transfer a little bit to the top shimmer color. So I try to get them separately to show you guys. So this the more creamy bottom, this color. And this is the shimmer color. Shimmer color has more purple glitters in there. Both are like a glossy finish. And this is a, a very nice coral color. This to combine is also also very nice. But I never tried on the lip. I only did the swatches. I need to... Oh, I'm debating whether I should put a fridge because once you put in the fridge, it can get to solid, but once you remove it out, it's going to melt even quicker. What should I do? Thank you for coming back to my channel and thank you to watch today's video as well. Hope you like it. If you do, click the thumb up button and most importantly, to subscribe to my channel and I will see you on my next one.